The two best teams in the Western Conference are the Golden State Warriors and the San Antonio Spurs. And the best player on those respective teams is Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at what would happen if you switched Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard. So Kawhi Leonard would play on the Golden State Warriors and Kevin Durant would take his place and play on the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to be seeing which team comes out on top and which player does better. So here is the Golden State Warriors roster. Kawhi Leonard, their new star small forward, 96 overall, 25 years of age. And that's the only roster change for the Golden State Warriors. And here are the San Antonio Spurs. You got Kevin Durant, age 28, 95 overall, one overall lower than Kawhi Leonard. But how will these players do in their new teams? Here's the rotation for the Warriors. Kawhi Leonard is going to be playing 38 minutes per game. Actually, we're going to change that. Curry can play two less minutes. We're going to make Kawhi play 40 minutes a game. And as for the Spurs, they're like more balanced as a minutes. But we're going to change that because we need Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard to play the same amount of minutes. So Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant are going to be playing 40 minutes per game. Actually, in the first game of the season, these two teams play each other, so we're going to see a sneak peek of which team is better. But yeah, we're going to simulate to the end of the season, and you know the drill. We're going to look at their stats, we're going to look at the standings, and everything like that. So, simulate through date. And I just wanted to point out, the Golden State Warriors beat the San Antonio Spurs in their first game, 116-94. to And of course, I want to view the box score this game. Kawhi Leonard, his first game as a Warrior against his former team 29 minutes i don't know why he only played 29 minutes i guess they didn't need him in the fourth or something but he had 24 points five rebounds one assist three steals and a block he shot nine for 18 from the field he actually attempted 10 three-pointers and kevin durant fitting in well with his new team he played 41 minutes dropped 30 points eight rebounds one assist one steal and shot 11 for 21 from the field 2 for 5 from 3, and 6 for 6 from the free throw line. Alright, so that was fun to look at, but now we're going to simulate to the end of this season. And here we are at the end of the season, neither Kevin Durant or Kawhi Leonard won the MVP award. The MVP award was won by none other than LeBron James, almost averaging a triple-double. Here are the Western Conference standings, just what we were expecting. The Warriors and the Spurs are the one and the two seed. But the Warriors did slightly better, they finished 63-19. and And the San Antonio Spurs finished 57-25, and good for second in the Western Conference. And the other playoff teams you got the Grizzlies, the Clippers, the Rockets, the Thunder, the Timberwolves, and the Jazz. Here are the Eastern Conference standings if you're curious. For some reason, every time I do a simulation, the Bulls are always the first seed. I don't get it. That's not what's happening in real life. It's nowhere near what's happening in real life. But the Bulls are the one seed. Followed by the Cavs, Raptors, Celtics, Pacers, Wizards, Bucks, and the Knicks. The Knicks made the playoffs also. And here are the stats for the Spurs. Most importantly, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant averaged 29 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and about 2 blocks. But he did not win the MVP award, which I think he deserved. And here are the Warriors. The leading scorer was Steph Curry and not Kawhi Leonard, but we're going to look at Kawhi Leonard's stats. 22 points per game, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 2.4 steals, only 1 block. Oh yeah, and Kawhi Leonard did not win Defensive Player of the Year either. So here's the playoff bracket. In the first round, the Warriors are facing the 8th seeded Jazz. And the Spurs are facing the 7th seeded Timberwolves. We're going to simulate current round. And hopefully they can both make it past their opponents. And that they do. Warriors beat the Jazz in 6th. Spurs beat the Timberwolves in 6th. I'm hoping for a Warriors versus Spurs Western Conference Finals matchup. 
Now the Warriors are facing the Clippers and the Spurs are facing the Thunder. Simulate current round. And the San Antonio Spurs get eliminated. And Kevin Durant loses to his former team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. I don't get it. All the Thunder have is Russell Westbrook, which this had an insane stat line. But come on, Kevin Durant, 35 points. How come no one else on this Spurs team is scoring? Come on, you got Aldridge and Pau Gasol scoring six points for you out there. They got to do better than that. In game one, in game one, Durant dropped 46 points, 18 rebounds, two assists, and seven blocks in a loss, in a loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Westbrook did his thing. He had a triple-double. But come on, you can't be letting these guys score that much. In game two, Durant also dropped 32 points. Game three, also the leading scorer. Game four, the leading scorer. Aldridge and Gasol are sucking right now. I don't know what else to say. Let's look at the Kevin Durant's playoff stats. He averaged 29 points, 9 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 2 steals, 2.5 blocks. But he loses in the second round to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And not to mention, no one else on this team was scoring. Aldridge had to step up. Parker has to step up. Pau Gasol and Manu Ginobili have to step up. This was a disappointing playoffs for the Spurs. I guess they are missing the defense that Kawhi Leonard provided for them. But the Warriors did get past the Clippers in six, and now they're facing the Oklahoma City Thunder in the Western Conference Finals. And I just realized the Cleveland Cavaliers lost to the Bucks in the first round. So let's see if the Warriors could beat the Thunder and that they do. They beat them in six games and they're facing the Chicago Bulls in the finals, which would never happen, dude. But yeah, we're going to simulate this game by game. Warriors take a 2-0 lead. The Warriors have a 3-1 lead. You already know the 3-1 lead jokes. I'm not going to say anything. And the Golden State Warriors win the NBA championship with their addition of Kawhi Leonard replacing Kevin Durant. But it's not Kawhi Leonard winning the finals of be it's Steph Curry. And here are the playoff stats for the Warriors. Curry did his thing. He was scoring 28 points. He actually had a decent stat line, but we don't care about Curry right now. We care about Kawhi Leonard. He had 21.6 points, 7 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 1.7 steals, and about a block. He's not going good defensively as I thought he'd be, but he did score. He did have a drop off in scoring actually. He has less production on the Warriors than he did as the Spurs. Because on the Spurs, he was the star player. But on the Warriors, he's surrounded by stars. Okay, interesting. So this was an interesting video. Kawhi Leonard, not much of a defensive presence as he was on the Spurs. And Kevin Durant, doing his thing, was most likely an MVP candidate. Probably second in the MVP race behind LeBron James. Who probably snuck by him. But Kevin Durant did his thing in the playoffs. But no one else stepped up which is why he lost in the second round to the Oklahoma City Thunder and his former teammate, Russell Westbrook. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I am out.